Hi, no Ataxia Nation, and welcome to day one of Ataxia Awareness. Today, I'm going to highlight the different types of Ataxia. Did you know that there are three different types of Ataxia? They are hereditary, idiopathic, and sporadic. Let me tell you a little about each. Hereditary Ataxia runs in families and is passed down from generation to generation. It is due to a mutation in a gene. Some common ataxias that are hereditary are Friedrich's ataxia, SCA1, and SCA3, also known as Machado Joseph's disease. Sporadic ataxia is an ataxia that has an unknown cause. So you don't have a mutation in your gene, but you have ataxia you are categorized as having sporadic ataxia. And the third type is idiopathic. And idiopathic ataxia is you have the symptoms of ataxia. So we know that some symptoms of ataxia are lack of balance and coordination. And you can have that as a result of another disease or condition. As an example, you can have symptoms of ataxia when you have a concussion or when you have a stroke And you can also have the symptoms of ataxia if you have another disease like Parkinson's or MS. So there you have it. There are three different types of ataxia. Imagine that. I want to give a shout out to everybody that's shown me their photos so far and has sent them to me through the email. Thanks so much. I'm so excited to highlight all of you in the upcoming podcast. So keep those pictures coming. I hope you learned something today. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow with another awareness about ataxia. Thanks so much for listening. Thank you for listening in to the Did You Know podcast with your host, Dana Morrow. Please subscribe to this channel to hear all of the latest podcasts. We hope that this podcast has provided you with valuable information and inspires you to advocate for yourself and educate everyone in your circle. Remember, You are the expert and best spokesperson for your rare disease. Thank you.